Dominica. Step 1. Start with the table and stand. Remove contents. Tabletop. Four table legs. Six long crossbars. Two short L-shaped crossbars. Four short crossbars. Two yellow cap tabletop screws. Two long arbor screws will be used to lock the grommeter to the table. One Allen wrench. One orange handle cam lock tool. One printed table schematic. Unwrap protective film from table legs, crossbars, etc. Place the tabletop upside down on the workbench surface. Use two long crossbars and two L-shaped crossbars to affix the legs to the tabletop. Place the ends of the cross beams into the channels found on the legs and tighten the cam locks. Use the two yellow cap tabletop screws to attach the L-shaped short crossbars to the tabletop once the cam locks have been tightened into the leg channel. Note, do not over tighten the cam locks. Place two short crossbars halfway up the legs and lock in place. Place two long crossbars halfway up the legs and lock in place. Place the last two short crossbars at the bottom of the legs and lock in place. Place the last two long crossbars at the bottom of the legs and lock in place. Take the table that is currently upside down on your workbench and flip it over and place it on the floor. Make sure that all cam locks have been tightened and the yellow cap screws are tight so that the table does not shift. Slide in the middle shelf which should rest on the four crossbars that were locked into place halfway up the legs. Step 2. Remove grommeter from crate and prepare for hookup. Open crate. Remove screws in the top panel of the crate. Remove lid from crate. Carefully open protective bag and wrap excess around the outside of the crate to expose everything inside the crate. Hint, this large protective bag can be used as a dust cover once the insulation is complete, so try to keep it intact. Remove contents from around the grommeter. One bag of female plastic grommets, one bag of male plastic grommets, one operation maintenance manual, one foot pedal, one box containing the power supply, and one box with the test strip QC check found inside. Note, all grommeter machines come with these quality control sheets to show that they were individually tested and working before leaving the factory. With two people, remove the grommeter from the crate and place it on the newly built table stand. Lock all five casters to prohibit the grommeter from sliding on the table. Use the two long arbor screws to secure the grommeter to the tabletop. Align the holes in the grommeter deck with the two holes into the tabletop and send the two long arbor screws through and tighten the wing nut below the tabletop. The grommeter is now ready to receive air supply and power. Step 3. Hooking up the grommeter. Run an air line to the back side of the grommeter and plug it in. Plug the power supply into the wall and then plug the DC connector into the side of the grommeter. Plug the foot pedal into the side of the grommeter. Note, do not force any of these plugs. The foot pedal plug has channels to make sure it is plugged in properly and it will slide into place with ease when it is properly aligned. Build a 90 degree grommet caddy with male grommets, left side as you face the unit. Note, make sure the correct grommets go on each side otherwise you will jam the spinning motors and will need to remove all the grommets. Fill the 45 degree grommet caddy with female grommets, right side as you face the unit. Again, make sure the correct grommets go in each side, otherwise you will jam the spinning motors and you will need to remove all the grommets. Press the green button to turn the grommeter on and you are ready to start. Step four, operation tips and tricks. To avoid grommet jams, make sure that you press firmly on the foot pedal for at least two seconds before releasing. To avoid grommet jams, make sure that the edge of your media is not curling downward, as this can cause the bottom, female grommet, to catch the lip of the media and not make it to its proper alignment. If a grommet jams, make sure that you turn off the machine and unplug the air and electrical before placing fingers or appendages under the pneumatic press mechanism. If a jam happens, make sure that the path of the bottom grommet is fully cleared and any plastic shards are removed from the tabletop and bottom areas of the die. Allow plenty of room on both sides of the grommeter so you can easily run a longer banner through the machine. To avoid grommets getting stuck in the track feeder, make sure that the grommet caddies stay at least half full all the time. Grommeter.